hello guys welcome back to another video of my youtube channel and if you are new to the video please do not forget to like subscribe and share the videos or the content on this channel i just want to give a shout out to my students that i teach uh, that is aiden Hronevald and emba minar who are currently in grade nine they requested this video i don't know why i don't know why but uh, yeah, they, they just had an interest in long division and then they asked me to do a video on long division. So shout out to you guys. Here's your video. Guys, I want to start off with uh, dividing the following numbers. I want us to divide 78 by 5 and then at the end of the day um, or at the end of the video or at the end of the sum specifically, we're going to write down the answer here from the calculator. Okay. So how do you approach or how do you solve this 78 divided by 5 when doing long division? Firstly, I'm going to draw a long division sign here, which is that symbol whereby I'm going to have 78 on the inside of that and then 5 on the outside. So the number that I'm dividing by is the outside and the number that you're dividing is on the inside. And then moving from there, to do my long division, I'm going to consider steps. Now, how I remember these steps are, think of your household. The first person to come in your household is your father, which you're going to name it dad. The second person is the mother, which you're going to name it uh, the mom, <clears throat> followed by the sister, which is S, and then followed by the brother. Now, these letters that I wrote on the side have got different meanings. I want us to see how we're going to relate them to our long division sum. So in your household starts the dead, meaning in our case of maths, we're going to start with division. And then followed by the mom, in our case, we're going to multiply. Followed by the sister, in our case, we are going to subtract. And then the brother, which means bring down, in our case. I know this is some long english word but just just see how we're gonna use it okay <clears throat> and then to do my long division now this is where i'm gonna start firstly you're going to take the first digit which is seven and divide it by five in other words how many fives can you get in seven and it's clear that it's only one but there will be a, a remainder of two don't mind the remainder that's not our focus Another thing that now we're going to do is, since we divided 7 by 5, we are going to multiply uh, 1 by 5. So I'm following all these steps here. So we multiply 1 by 5 and then you get 5. Okay? And then all of this now, we are going to do a subtraction. And every time you do a subtraction, please draw a line once you do a long division. So we subtract now 5 from 7, which is going to give you 2. And then followed by the B, which is for the brother in our case. But now the B means bring down. Whatever is left at the top, you have to bring it down. So I bring down the 8 since the 8 was left at the top. And then we go back to the division. Division, we divide now 2 by 5, but you cannot divide by, I mean, 2 by 5. So we combine the two numbers or the two digits, which is 28. And then um, 28, 28 divided by 5 means now how many 5s can you get in 28? If I can count in 5s, it's 5, 10, 15. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. But we cannot go to 30 because that does not give us 28. Okay. Now how many 5s can you get in 28? It's only one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> and then the answer that I'm going to have there is five. And then followed by M, which is for multiplication. So it's five times five, which gives you uh, 25. Then I'm going to write 25 there, followed by S, which is for subtraction. And every time I write subtraction, I have to draw a line and then subtract. So it's two minus two, which is zero. And then eight minus five, which is a clear three. Day. And then we go on to, um, since we, we did subtraction, we bring down whatever is left. And if you can see, if you can clearly see, nothing is left 
therefore i have to go back to division then we divide 0 by 5 but we cannot divide 0 by 5 because there's no fives that you can get in 0 and then we go to 3 divided by 5 meaning how many fives can you get in 3 none and if you see that you cannot get any fives in 3 we then have to add a 0 to make it 30 but every time you add a 0 oh, for the first time you add a 0 on your answer you have to put a comma hope you guys can see that so I put a comma there since I've added a zero on our 30. Then we say 30 divided by five, meaning how many fives can you get in 30? So I'm gonna go on and count in fives. So it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I've reached my 30. How many fives did I get there? It's only six of them. Then I put that comma six, okay? Then we go on to multiplication meaning 6 times 5 which is going to give you 30 then we subtract uh, 3 minus 3 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 once you reach this stage guys whereby you get your answer at the end to be 0 is to 0 when you subtract that becomes your final answer in other words when we now divide 78 by 5 we are going to get 15,6. Guys, the second example, we have got 29 divided by 2. First thing I'm going to do is to draw that symbol and have 29 on the inside and then 2 on the outside. Then we are going to follow the steps D, M, S, and then B. By now I know that you know what they mean. D is for division, M for multiplication, S for subtraction, and then B for bringing down i'm just gonna draw an arrow for bringing down okay then the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna divide two by two which is gonna give us one and then we say one multiplied by two which is gonna be two and then we have to divide that oh I'm sorry not divide but we have to subtract now two minus two is zero and then we bring down the nine okay just bring the nine over then we go back to our division in that case and then 9 divided by 2 meaning how many twos can you get in 9 if i can just do that on the side so it's gonna be 2 4 6 8 but when you go to the next one you get 10 meaning we subtract that one only four twos that you can get in 9 then i put my four there and then it's four times two which is gonna be eight then i write my eight there and then um, uh, we subtract now. So when we subtract, it's going to be 9 minus 8, which is equal to 1. Is there anything that we have to bring down? Nothing. So I just leave it as 1. And then all the way back to division. 1 divided by 2, meaning how many 2s can get into 1? None. Then we have to add a 0 change my color there then i add zero and every time i add zero or the first time you add zero you put a comma in your answer and then uh once we put in a comma in our answer now we can say 10 divided by uh 10 divided by 2 and once you do 10 divided by 2 i'm gonna write it on the side it's 2 4 6 8 10 and you can see we've got five of them and i'm gonna write five there and then 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And then we subtract now. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. And as you can see, we got a 0 answer, meaning that becomes our final solution. So when you divide 29 by 2, you are going to get 14,5. So if I can write it here, uh, 29 divided by 2 is equal to 14,5. Five. That's the final answer. I want us to divide 48 by 9. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is to draw my symbol. Put 48 on the inside and then 9 on the outside. Here I'm going to use a calculator just in case some of you use a calculator. So you see I'm going to use it. Okay. 
So we have got 448 divided by 9. Firstly, I'm going to write down the steps I'm going to follow. It's D, M, S, N, B. Division is for divide. I mean, D is for dividing, M is for timesing, and then S is for subtracting. B is for bringing down. Then I say 4 divided by 9. Now, if I can do that on a calculator, 4 divided by 9, as you can see, the answer that I get is 0, comma something something, meaning there is 0 9s that you can get in 4. Then I'm going to combine now the two numbers, which is 48. I write it as 48 divided by 9. Now, if you can see, we are going to get a number that is 5. Do not mind the ones after the comma, okay? After that, we say, uh, since we are done with division, we say 5 times 9. 5 times 9, let's see what 5 times 9 gives us. We say 5 times 9, and that gives us 45. All right, 45 underneath my 48, and then we have to subtract. Every time you subtract, you draw a line and put a subtraction sign there. 4 minus 4 is 0. 5 minus, I mean 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. And then let's see. Uh, is there anything that we have to bring down? No, there's nothing. So we just leave the B alone. We go back to uh, division. Okay. Then we divide 3 by 9. So I'm going to say 3 divided by 9, which is going to give me 0, com comma something, something. As you can see, there are 0 9s or no 9s that you can get in 3. So we leave that. And then if I cannot get any 9s in 3, that means I must add 0. But every time you add 0, for the first time you put a comma in your answer. And then let's see, now we have got a number that is 30. We say 30 divided by 9, and then that gives us 3, 333. Don't mind the commas, focus on the first answer, or the first number, which is 3. And I write, um, I write a 3 there. And then 9 times, since I'm done with division, I go to multiplication. 9 times 3, let's see what 9 times 3 gives us. 9 times 3 or 3 times 9 is going to be 27. I write 27 there. And then I have to subtract that number. Uh, 2. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, we say 30 minus 27 is going to be uh, your 3. And then if you look here, we are doing a repeat. Because we cannot get 9 and 3. That means we have to add a 0. And then, as you notice that we did have a 30 there, that's going to give us an answer of 3. Uh, there's nothing to bring down, meaning we go back to division, which is going to give us 3, 3 times 9 is 27. And then we have to subtract that. Uh, I hope you can see the trend here. This is going to give us uh, 30 minus 27, which is uh, 3. And then we add 0. And then this takes us back to an answer that is 3. Now you can see that 3 is recurring here. So I can just simply write the answer here that 48 divided by 9 is equal to 5 comma 3 3 recurring. I'm going to put a dot on top of 3 to show that this answer continues forever. If we can just prove our answers now. I'd like to start off with 48 divided by 9. Let's see the answer that we get there. There you go, it's 5,33, which is the one that we got there. And then if I move on to the second answer that we got, when we said 29 divided by 2, 29 divided by 2, remember we got 14,5, that should give us 14,5. According to the calculator, it's correct. And then the last one, uh, let's see, <clears throat> we said 78 divided by 5, which should give us an answer of 15,6. And then I change my fraction to a decimal, which is 15,6. And that's it. Guys, that's all you have to know about long division. Know what these steps mean and then follow them. Thank you so much for watching. Please share my video. Share my videos, share my channel. 
um yeah and thanks once again to ember and aiden you guys are the best thank you Thank you.